Got my title coming to my car. Should be here by Friday. Today's Tuesday. Didn't show up to work. Just had to get in uniform for a little bit. Hi y'all. Good old rear detachment. I don't think you can see much. Anyways. Sorry for the bad video. Plans again. Toggle switch. And then a hole. Stick the bolt through the hole. Oh, just barely. Stick the bolt through the hole, tighten her down on the top of the post. Keyed on, power to the box is what I'm trying to hook up. Just got black wire, so that's what I have. That's what I'm gonna use. Oh, come on now. It's an 11 and I'm using a 12 ram, so it's good. Just about ready to slip out, but it's snug now. Turn the switch off. Got everything else hooked up. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. shows not too much getting good old channel rock branded wire pliers and grab it wherever really it's not a big deal as long as you crimp the fuck out of it take your screwdriver wherever I set it the whole Walmart Stanley screwdriver Don't drop your screw on a weird car. Stick that in my mouth for just a short bit and then stick it back in here. Stick it back in here. Start it. Whoop. Drop my fucking screw. Just like I said not to. So this truck, this car is going to be jank as hell. But it's going to be in halfway decent shape. I'm going to appreciate it. I don't think anybody else will appreciate it. But it, hobbies are for itself and not for other people. They're not meant to impress everybody else. They're meant to strike a balance between yourself and whatever else you're dealing with. Okay. So this needs to be cut apart. I'm not gonna cut that apart. Like it is. See this tab here? I'm gonna cut it, just the tab. Broke the whole thing, pulls these two apart. Sorry about framing. I got a stand, I just got an iPhone on 12 mini. Fucking A, bro, fucking A. Focus, you fuck. There it goes. So I got this connector and it, uh, it, it, it identifies off of where the igniter should be. 
for this specific distributor. Four new spark plugs as you can see that one i kind of got tightened in but this lower one ooh, camera that one's kind of in let's see i just hand unthreaded that not supposed to be that way but you can see it's real flush right there there ain't much to grab a hold of to turn it you actually got to turn the porcelain and that's a big don't help that breaks spark plugs stupid easy so what i've got to do here Since ultimately it's probably going to get mounted something like this, right? Because I got a bracket I could mount for it. These aren't going to reach. So I've got to build extensions or extend them. And I could do that by cutting the, the cords here and just, just tying them together. And I can still keep the designation because the tape is what's designating it. But this side has, this is the distributor side, has yellow paint on it. And the other side has yellow paint saying that these two go together just for dummy proof. So, that pains me to do this, but I got to, to get it to locate right. Stupid camera. There it goes. Fucking neighbors, bro. Come on, focus, you fuck. Oh, the struggle bus is real, boy. Take my things, my tool. Put too much off of the thing. Should have interlapped them. What you can do is you can cut one way up here and the other one back there so that the connections don't try to cut touch at all. Should have done that. I didn't think of that until just now. We'll get her. Won't be shoddy best, but we'll get her. Yeah. Technically should take these and solder them together. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna solder them together. I should for good continuity, but I'm not gonna do it. Cause that's a pain in the ass. I got what? Oh, pinch. Wait. Oh yeah, I'm moving the whole pin. Well, I was mo wiggling a little bit. I was a little concerned, but I'm moving the whole pin. Oh yeah. Turn and push, and they'll push on there better. Just don't do it too much to where they override. Because sometimes you'll have too small of a fig fitting, or uh, too small of a source to put in the fitting. Yep, we we'll the whole thing again.
So I had problems. I think I, I switched to the Weber carburetor and I had problems. I think it's burning rich. I had problems with ignition on the rear rotor, if I remember right. And if I did just a little bit, it might've been just dirty spark plugs. So I bought new spark plugs and I seen on eBay, it had a, they had a cheap MSD system from a turbo 12A, I believe. So I picked it up like 300 bucks for this whole fucking two coils the boxes and all the hookups to do it already done pretty much you know so i went ahead and grabbed it because i had the cash and everything supposedly works but it's all old used stuff what the fuck am i grabbing for I got this one i need So this side runs to the igniters, which is the magnetic pickups. Since this is the igniter, I'm pretty sure, since these are the igniters in it, that's why the MSD box is there. It's the igniters. Since those are the igniters, I don't need, I can't run igniters on the actual distributor. So they have to pull them off and just use them as electromagnet uh, magnets, which sends a signal to the box to spark the plug. Oh. Well, to spark the coil, and the coil sends it through the distributor, and the distributor puts it through the right plug. So you have to run a different distributor. Instead of me trying to lock out a distributor and do all this goofy shit and make it work, I just use their distributor for now. Because it looks like they run it on a turbo system. The reason why I say that is, is because it, it doesn't have... That, tur that uh, Dizzy doesn't have these vacuum advances here. They're unscrewed and they're, they're blocked out. I don't know if I got in the frame of that, but they're unscrewed and blocked out. So, the reason why you block them out is because you want to uh, stop advance according to the thing. If you're not trying to get 26 degrees before top dead center or whatever it is you're trying to run like 10 you need to lock it out to the, the static advance so that way you don't have detonation on your turbocharger system because you're running pressure hopefully this will work 22 to 18 that should be one, ten, eight. That's what I need. I got them. Might as well use them. Those are really fun and nasty. Should be crimped in. I'm not going to be able to really see difference in colors for these, but it really shouldn't matter for a whole setup. For a diagnostic, it might. So one side's green, one side's uh, purple, violet, whatever you want to call it, because this the manuals call it violet. <laughs> But it's actually purple. Yeah, this video is going on long enough. I'll start another one. 